Uh, and Dr. Lewin and all those others who dug, others who have dedicated their lives to uh, trying to make sure that uh, people drink responsibly and in particular that, that young people don't drink. Uh, I am delighted that, uh, that the Division of Alcohol Beverage Control, Commission on Criminal and Juvenile Justice, Department of Health, Dr. Dunwall, uh, are joining together to make this awareness that alcohol and pregnancy do not mix. Okay. It's so important that we educate, especially our young women, to this fact. And to get that word out that if you are pregnant or may be pregnant, stay away because any amount of alcohol at any stage of that pregnancy could cause lasting lifetime impairment. This is so critical. And I, I know people think, well, a heroin addict who's pregnant that was going to saddle their child with all kinds of problems, that could be. We know that the most preventable form of birth defect and, mental, uh, and impairment is to not drink when you're pregnant. That message has to get out. As a parent who, and by the way, this timing was not planned uh, with regard to me talking about my daughter who's 17 and because of her situation at birth is suffering from the effects of FASD and other things. Uh, where in particular, you know, our, our young people have enough hard decisions to make. They're faced with all kinds of difficulties. But if then because their birth mother consumed alcohol, they've got frontal lobe damage and it, and it impairs their ability to, 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 uh, to, to control their impulses, which teenagers already have trouble with that, but add to that that additional burden that, that affects their judgment. And we, we have to get the, the word out. And I really appreciate the partnership, the fact that we can put these notices and this information in places where people come to, to purchase alcohol legally, but just to remind people, and in particular, our young people. I, I'm, I'm pleased that DABC, with their leadership in the legislature, frankly took those flavored malt beverages out of our stores, drinks that statistics show 40% of those consuming those drinks were underage girls. Uh, that's why they call them girly drinks. And so many girls consuming them, being sexually active, not knowing they're pregnant, drinking these drinks, could be impairing a child they did not know they were carrying and, and have a lifetime burden. So uh, I just, I, I'm pleased that whenever we come together, different groups with different responsibilities, we make this awareness out there. We can save lives. We can save our children. Uh, because I know nobody intentionally is going to be trying to hurt that child, and so awareness is key. So congratulations, thank you, I'm glad to be a part of it. Grateful that uh, I can share our experiences with others, uh, and that others are willing to step forward and share their experiences. Sometimes you want to hide behind it. Sometimes your parents may be embarrassed to have a child who's suffering. There's no growth, there's no progress, and we don't talk about it. Yeah, because together, truly, this is what matters. People working together, people sharing their experiences, we can make a lasting impact. And for that, I'm grateful for the chance to be involved in this and for all that you do, Chairman. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much.